Water sign Scorpio, welcome back to the channel Emperor's Light to Row. It's me, Tony, a resident tarot specialist and tarot guy for the next few minutes. We're going to be jumping into your love energetics. If you're new here on the channel, this is what we do here, love, right? We read the love, uh, oh, sorry, we read the energies um, of the person that's coming towards you romantically or who wants to connect with you, right? We got three of pentacles at the bottom of the deck, so this could be a co-worker. Or my someone that works in the same industry as you card, right? That is my prodigy as well. So we'll see. Messages for Scorpio. Please and thank you, Spirit Team. What is Scorpio in regards to love, romance, and the matters of the heart? Who's wanting to connect with our water sign at this time romantically? We got the magician. Mm -hmm. Seems right. Scorpio energy, right? Eighth house energy. Eighth house energy. The infinity symbol, right? I couldn't find it on the magician until someone mentioned it to me. <laughs> so this could be you at this time with this grounding the spread. Powerful manifestation energy at this time. The laws of attraction, right? This is someone very ambitious and very accountable. Gen Gemini and um, Virgo energy. Knight of Wands, yeah. Someone's coming towards you very passionately, wanting to manifest you here. Mm -hmm. Fire sign energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This could be someone that's on uh, some sort of a journey or a mission or what do I call it? Rites of passage, right? Possibly sexual rites of passage. Um, also, this person may be, may be very creative. Uh, maybe they have some sort of a platform or something like that. Like this person could be into like exercise or whatever the case may be, like physical activity. Mm -hmm. It's a night, so very swift, right? This person is very in and out. Typically, is seen as a player or a non-committal, the Knight of Cups. So they actually do have romantic feelings for you. So, yeah, there's a lot of chemistry here that this person sees with you. And they're in pursuit of your ass as well. <laughs> That's what I'm getting. The Two of Cups, yeah. This Knight of Wands, this Knight of Cups, this Two of Cups. This person wants to bring love, romance, and passion. They, they see, and then also, I'm getting a download. They're wanting to bring um, fun and excitement to you as well. Yeah. But yeah, Two of Cups. The Leo, indicative of strength or the strong connection that they want to have or build with you. Right. This could be a friend, but uh, we do love readings, right? So it seems like this person wants to romance the socks off you or massage the socks off you, right? <laughs> Four of Swords, yeah, they're thinking about betting you, right? This is my sleep or recovery, mm -hmm. meditation or reflection. Mm -hmm. Remember I was talking to you guys yesterday about how sometimes the Four of Swords looks like the Four of Wands, right? <laughs> yeah, this person, uh, they definitely like you. Mm -hmm. They like you a lot. The Three of Cups, yeah. From the Two of Cups to the Three of Cups, two, three, four. Four of Swords, yeah. Two Knights, a Knight of Wands and a Knight of Cups. This person is not just a sex thing. Um, it's Kundalini or it's the Caduceus, right? Typically, yeah. I think you can kind of see it on the on this Two of Cups, which is at the middle of the spread, right? The Caduceus or the DNA strand even, right? Yeah. This person wants to get entangled with you. It's reminding me of like the mating, uh, the breeding ground of like snake when the snake season whatever it's called the breeding season for snakes right they get they all get together in one big ball like one big ass snake orgy <laughs> this is what this person this is how this person feels about you let's see what else are they uh, manifesting here three of pentacles you, this may be a co-worker or someone that you work with this is the same thing that showed up in libra's readings so you may want to watch libra's reading scorpio yeah but this person wants to work with you this could be like a teacher or an instructor or a student or a guide or something like that. It's going to resonate for some of you guys. The full card, Aries. Yeah, a new adventure. So this could be a new person coming in, a new offer. Yeah. Someone very adventurous, someone very outgoing, or this could be an outdoors man or outdoors woman. It could be a shaman as well, right? In tune with nature, three of wands. Yeah, this person is a traveler. They may be at a distance from you, and they're manifesting you hard. Ten of Wands, yeah. Mm -hmm. Very spiritual individual. Mm -hmm. 
wanting to share in burdens and responsibilities with you. So they're trying to generate a relationship with you, two of cups. Mm -hmm. Person may want to move closer to you or move in with you, take it how it resonates. Yeah. But I see good stuff here. Let's see, what am I looking at? Looking at two nights and two threes, right? Threes have been a big thing lately. Right? Them wanting to share in an abundance with you, sharing in an abundance of emotions, right? Want to share more time with you, celebrate with you, gather with you, all this type of stuff. Um, and then you had a Knight of Cups and a Knight of Wands. Them wanting to romance you, bring passion towards you, have fun with you. Yeah. This person wants to get you out and active. Yeah. <laughs> the fool and the magician. Mm hmm. Yeah. <laughs> this person is a uh, go go getter, a goal setter. This person may be a trendsetter. Okay. Two of cups, three of wands, and four of swords. This person can't wait to get you in bed. Or they just can't wait to get around you, right? I'm getting that movie, The Long Kiss Goodnight. It just, it just out of nowhere, it just appeared into my head, right? <laughs> yeah, Samuel Jackson and uh, I forgot the chick's name. Interracial, right? Yeah, but that's what I'm getting for you guys here today, Scorpio. Like the video, subscribe to the channel so that we can continue to grow. We have someone that's trying to build a strong... They see, first of all, they see it was a soulmate. And they're manifesting this hard, three of wands and a magician. Mm -hmm. Knight of Wands and Knight of Cups. They have love for you. They want to romance you, possibly take you out on a date or something like that, right? And they're coming in very fast and strong, very passionately, right? This person, they're very attractive, too. They're very active, possibly very creative. Yeah, you're dealing with... Hmm, that's funny. You're dealing with someone with a strong sex drive or a high sex drive, which means that... Um, their sacral chakra is on fleek. Yeah, that's what I'm getting. All right. So, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Uh, catch you guys on the next one, Scorpio. Don't forget to check out the Scorpio playlist on the channel as well. Peace.